What's up guys, it's Mark. Today I'm gonna to be giving you guys my review of Jordan Peele's new movie, Nope. So let's just dive right into it. So first things first, when it comes to Jordan Peele, a lot of people can be mixed on him. On the one hand, you have people like me who think that this dude is just a genius and he's bringing new things to the horror genre and trying new and interesting things and almost reinventing it. While other people say that, oh, he's overrated or you know, his, his movies are too complex to understand. And, you know, some people have even compared him to M. Night Shyamalan. Um, but me personally, again, I think he does some very interesting things in the horror genre. When Get Out came out, that movie blew my mind, reignited my love of horror movies. And when Us came out, I thought that one was pretty interesting. Some people were kind of mixed on that. And um, it's no different with Nope. For the most part, there's a lot of good reviews. And me personally, I really like the movie. I would give it like an eight out of 10. Um, but there were people who were mixed on it. And I can definitely understand why. So let's just dive right into that. So first things first, one of the strengths of this movie is the, sus is the suspense. Sorry about that. But um, if you're going into this movie thinking that's gonna be like a full-fledged horror movie with like creepy, uh, disgusting looking aliens, um, or you know, to get like an anxiety attack in the theater, you might want to tame your expectations because this is more so a sci-fi thriller than a sci-fi horror movie. But Jordan Peele still delivers when it comes to the suspense because when you see the aliens out there, um, out by uh, the farmhouse, like you, you can tell something's about, something's going to go down. And there's a lot of moments that build up the suspense and lead to it. Like in certain scenes when the power goes out, <clears throat> then you, that's how you know that the aliens are coming and a lot of the characters are start are starting to act frantic and they're like hey we gotta get ready or they're coming and you can feel that suspense so i thought that was uh, one of the movie's strengths another one of the movie's strengths was the cast daniel kaluuya kiki palmer stephen young uh, brennan Pereira, michael wincott they all give great performances and all of them do just an amazing phenomenal job and speaking of cast members, let's dive into Steven Yeun's character, uh, Ricky Juke Park. I think that's what his name was. I keep forgetting. But his character is kind of interesting. So in the movie, he plays like this rodeo showrunner type person who used to be a child star in a popular TV show. Now, at one point in the movie, they give they show something that happened to him as a child, a traumatic event. And this goes into one of the symbolisms that Jordan Peele likes to put into his movies. Because when you see this, it's actually pretty pretty disturbing. And um, it's also one of the reasons why I'm terrified of monkeys. So when you see the movie, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But a lot of people were saying, you know, like, why did they show that? That didn't connect, like, to the movie or, like, the ending or whatever. But um, you have to really pay attention because this is one of the symbolisms that Jordan Peele puts into his movies and with this movie this movie is very symbolism heavy so um some i can understand why some people were disappointed and they wanted a more so a, a straightforward horror movie while other people like me were expecting all that symbolism to be in there so uh just be on the lookout for that but honestly i mean me personally i really love this movie i was able to see it opening night i did buy a shirt because they just released like new special merchandise. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of expensive and it didn't come in in time, but um, I was still able to watch it. And honestly, I had a great time. And I, I did find myself, you know, like getting kind of anxious and I was like, oh man, what's gonna happen next? And that's um, how I always feel with Jordan Peele. And now I'm even more so hyped for what Jordan Peele has planned next in store for his next horror movie because he did say that he wanted to make four horror movies and this is his third one. So we got one more to go and I'm really interested to see what he's got planned next. So that's my review. Again, I give it an eight out of 10. This is a movie I highly suggest that you guys watch in theaters. You may or may not be disappointed, but either way, I still think that it's something new and creative that he's brought to the horror genre. And I'm curious to see what you guys think. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think and I'll see you later.